So, should you have a nanny in the Philippines? As a father, we're two kids that was with us in the Philippines and grew up and were born there. I would say yes. If you're looking for a maid or whatever, I think the term is Alma, which is very different. Um, with a nanny, it gives you an extra pair of hands. Getting your kids ready to school in the morning can be a bit of a pain. You've got somebody that can help with the laundry. You've got somebody that can, in our case, when the kids are at school, we work in the store. You've got somebody to make sure the house is kept clean. Um, they're basically an extra pair of hands most of the time, but also they're useful for teaching the kids as well. If you, you know, myself, I get very busy sometimes and wish I could dedicate more time to the kids. But the, their homework and stuff, although my wife and myself do still get involved, the nanny can actually, you know, when the kids get home, do the meal, get them into their homework, and then, you know, continue from there where we'll, me and my wife will get involved. So, yes, a nanny can be a fantastic uh, help to you, but also you can help develop the nanny as a person. And we've had a few nannies. We we had one where her husband, she had a jealous husband who had actually burnt their house down previously. Um, she was beaten by the husband previously when she was out in the province, out in the middle of nowhere with her husband on her own. Her mother brought her to work for us. Um, and basically we, we helped uh, change the characteristics of the husband, I believe. <laughs> the wonderful woman, still keep in touch with her. Um, but that was sort of helping somebody who was actually going through quite a difficult time, but also financially helped her as a uh, mother herself, because she had kids herself. But the husband it then disappeared to Manila for a bit and wasn't sending money home, etc. So, usual politics. But the point was, as a mother herself, although she was working for us and not spending time with her own kids um, during the working week, she did get to see her kids uh, when she had downtime as well, which makes a big difference. The other side of this being that it helped sort her relationship out. The next nanny we had, um, she was basically stealing. But it was only later on that we found out why. And what I want to say on this is, if somebody's stealing, I know a lot of people will just sack them, get rid of them, etc. But what I was finding is, my wife was thinking I was going mad because it was like a, I'm sure I had a thousand pesos in my my shorts, and then it's like oh, in the laundry, and I'm like, well, where's the money gone? Oh, you must have spent it, blah, 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 that sort of thing. And it went on and on until there was a, an incident where we actually found out that she'd been stealing on a regular basis. So why was she stealing? Basically, her parents were proactively encouraging her to steal and some of her other siblings who got into trouble. It appears that the parents were basically turning their kids into bad kids when they're actually quite quite good kids um, we changed the way she was because we gave her two choices first thing was caught stealing we could throw you out now and you can you'll be doing so much stupid elsewhere and it won't belong to your court and did you want to go to jail as simple as that so there's the other alternatives you stay here We'll, we'll sort something out, we'll work out what the problems are, etc. And she decided to stay. We found out that, you know, it was the parents that were causing this problem. Uh, but also, she all of her money, they were taking everything she had. So, we told her how to deal with that. <laughs> Which is basically, you don't tell everybody what you actually earn. Um, this works anywhere in the world. If somebody thinks you're earning, say, £300 a week after tax, and you're actually earning five. That two hundred pounds extra can go in a rainy day fund or whatever it is. Especially if you've got a partner that likes to fret her money like no tomorrow. I'm not talking about my wife, by the way. This is um, a long time ago, but she was changed. It changed her in a positive way because 
she then was she got a couple of pay rises and stuff after that but she didn't make her family aware of it which meant she had money for herself she looks after herself better because you got to bear in mind when they take everything off her she's got no money for herself so them not knowing she had this money and we've got her to open a bank account and stuff it helped her she never finished school so we helped with her education system um, you know, it took time teaching her how to use a computer, gave her books to read, gave her stuff that the kids were learning as well. So it was actually helping her as well as the kids at the same time. There's all these sort of things that people forget about, you know, because people are people. This is, you know, this is not just the nanny. Anybody who works for me becomes part of the family. Um, and that's, that's, that's basically how everything is. But those are the main downsides. Um, beyond that, every nanny we've had has been fantastic. They've done a great job with the kids. They've done a, great, done a great job with looking after the house. They've done a great job of being responsible people. And also freed up my time to work. They've also meant that the kids have always got somebody around which is in the West something we don't have that often these days but education wise the kids develop faster because they've got a resource there that is actually wanting to teach them because that's what they're employed for you know it's part of their role so yes I highly recommend having a nanny um, very cost effective uh, as a resource for their house very cost effective in the fact that you're helping somebody in the community but more importantly you've got somebody that is with your kids all day all night and somebody they'll love and look up to for their whole life thanks for watching